The year is 2277. 200 years after the bombs have completely changed everything were dropped. A world now run by mutated creatures, raiders who have no compassion for humans, and sins that have more compassion than humans. The thoughts of will I survive today hunting everyone's mind. One thing is for sure, America's past that will always be remembered, never forgotten. Anywhere you go throughout the Commonwealth, there will always be a reference to the greatest game that ever was, and is. Greats like Shohei Otani, Mike Trout, Justin Berlander, Aaron Judge, Jacob DeGrom, Mookie Betts, Juan Soto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Ronald Acuna Jr. will always be remembered as the greats of our time, but there is one player that is entirely forgotten, a name you've probably never even heard of, Matt the Mesa Mortag. The year was 2024. All he had to do was perform his best against the best prospect across America in the 2024 draft combine. Oh. Hey Matt, this is Micah Davis from the MLB Scouting Borough, and I have some exciting news for you. We would like to invite you to this year's MLB Draft Combine. Are you interested? I'm not sure. Can you tell me more about the Combine? This right here. The Combine is a four-day event where some of the top draft prospects will showcase their skills in front of scouts from all 30 MLB teams. It's a great opportunity for you to boost your draft stock before the draft. Nice. Glad to hear that. It'll be a huge opportunity to show that you can, what you can do before the draft. I'll, cool, I look forward to showing you what I got. Okay, we'll be in touch with your agent to make arrangements. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. It's draft combine time. Showcase your talent day one. Welcome to day one of the MLB draft combine from Chase Field in Arizona. The top high school and college player prospects showcased their skills this week, giving all MLB clubs another opportunity to evaluate this year's draft class. It should be an impactful few days here in the desert. Alongside Sarah Langs, I'm Dan O'Dowd, and it's time for batting practice. So let's focus on what's happening down in the cage. Let's go. Okay, let's see how you swing the bat. Good hitting requires rhythm and timing, so I suggest you take some warm-up swings before your scouting evaluation begins. Okay, thank you, sir. What's your name? I don't even know your name, bro. Oh, there, no, his name is just batting instructor. We mostly want to see you make solid contact, but we do want to see what kind of pop you got. Try to stay within yourself. Try to stay within yourself, though. Sarah, BP started mm. now, and uh, this is where the scouts really, really bear down. They're looking at presence in the box. They're looking at the balance, rhythm, and timing of the swings. They're looking at how clean a swing path is. They're looking how connected oh, a player can be to a swing. And they're looking at the ability if they can hit the ball the entire field. And there's so much on, data that, that comes along with BP. We've got exit velocity, which means we can mm, look at enough. how often the player is hitting the ball hard. In this day and age, hitting the ball hard has an actual definition. That's 95 okay, plus go. miles an hour. And why do we care about feet. that? Because Home in run. today's oh. game, if you hit the ball hard, you're going to hit about 500 on mm. those batting balls with a 1,000 slugging percent. Another stat we'll look at is launch angle. And what look at we that launch angle. Is a sweet Come spot batting ball. It's 8 to 32 degrees Let's of launch go. angle, basically a line drive. I got an A so grade we'll level right now. Let's go. These players will be making that kind of contact as well. You know, I think about big league players like uh, Alvarez, Judge, Otani, Trout. Um, mm. Their hard hit ball data is crazy. Their launch angles are very, very, very consistent. And you add all the things that we're evaluating and think about, Sarah, the pressure these young players are under oh, right now. It's on. probably the most pressure-packed BP these players have ever taken in their careers. Oh, come on. B grade level. I got three more chances. I gotta bring it up. Let's go. I was gone. 
That's gone. That's all. Oh. Did I hit the wall? That's a foul ball. Do foul balls count? They do? That's crazy. That's gone. Let's go. That's not gone? Come on, bro. Solid round of batting practice. Uh, showed great presence in the box. Uh, stayed through the ball exceptionally well. No panic at all in the swing. I would just like to see him cover all parts of the zone a little bit better. What? I missed like two pitches and I fouled one. Four outfield drills. Four outfield drills were putting you all in center field, which is good because that's my position. You will get some ground balls and fly balls. Show us you can get behind the ball and make strong, accurate throws. This is my strong suit right here. Throw the third. A circle, right? It should be circle. So we're now into outfield play. Uh, this is kind of one of my favorite parts of the combine. Um, scouts look at this from a variety of oh, different no. perspectives. They're looking at breaks the and angles square. of the ball, um, which is I don't know why square. Uh, for above average defensive play. This part of the drill, we're looking at how, how quickly they get to the ball, how under control they are, and the strength of their throws cool. and the accuracy of the throw. Deep down scouting perspective, they're really trying to see the spin oh, on the ball, how clean <laughs> it is, and so they can get that one hop throw into third base That's and home cool. play. No, I'm with you on loving this. There's so many different ways to evaluate outfield defense in today's game. Of course, we can measure that arm strength. We can look at that accuracy of those throws, as you were saying. We can also measure speed, which is no. such an important part of playing the outfield. If you're not oh, fast man. enough in the outfield to get to that ball, everything else is moot. So we can really measure all different aspects of playing the outfield. Yeah, and when you, you look at some of these players and then you think about oh, the out, great bro. right fielders, which is the arm strength position in our game. Let's go. You think about Cunha, and you think about Tatis. You think about Kyle Tucker, Jason Hayward for a long period of time. And Sarah, pay particular attention now how they're making the outfielders move to the ball. They're trying to really see body movement and body awareness and how under control they are athletically when they go to execute this particular oh. skill. Well, as you said, right field is indeed the premier a arm C? position what? in today's game, and I've gotten a number of you on that. In 2023, right fielders had an average yeah, yeah. max effort arm strength of 19.9 miles an hour. That means the top 10% of all right fielders throws averaged almost 91 miles an hour. Hey, that's, that's really cool. incredible to think about. And if you think about it in a game, when you're trying to build a complete roster, part of it is your defensive acumen. So when you have come on, come on, come on. corner outfielders, no, in particular, they can really triangle. shut down a running game. He's that still out. He the whole He's still out. He's still out. Positioning from a competitive oh, standpoint. See? So these little simple no. drills, scouts are now projecting how those players will affect their ability to put that kind of defensive team on the field on, at the major on, league come level. Come on, come on. X triangle, X circle. No, it was square. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to get a D. Really solid average. Uh, did everything well, nothing exceptionally well. Very, very projectable kid, very projectable body. I think every part of his defensive play can take another step in professional baseball with the right instruction and his discipline and his want to to be the very best defensive player he can be. That was bad. That was bad. Quite a clinic you put on today, Matt. Wow. That was definitely a clinic, guys. <laughs> Keep showing us what you can do in the game, in these games coming up in the next few days, and you'll put yourself in a great spot for the draft. Who knows? You might even earn an invite to be at the draft in person. Whoa, mind you, there's a lot of talent in this year's class, so don't expect anything from just one good day. Rest up, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay.